everybody. Welcome back to Mac Break Studio. I'm Mark. I'm here with Steve, and we have a nice ambience in the room, don't you think? Yeah, no, actually, if you listen in here, I hear the sound of, you know, computer fans, AC units. I, you wouldn't believe how much noise is in this environment right now. Yeah, it's, wherever you are, if you stop and listen, it's shockingly noisy. Noise pollution. Right. I don't know why we're not all going insane with like, all the like, <laughs> little are. noises around. So, so what is this tip? Um, there's one of our customers that watches Mac Breaks all the time, and he wrote in with a tip called Replace with Ambience. And where that term came from, for those of you going... Go ahead. I think I know what you can say. <laughs> <laughs> Back in Legacy Final Cut, there was a product called Soundtrack, Soundtrack Pro. Soundtrack Pro, right. yes. And there was this great feature called Replace with Ambience. Yes. You could, if you were listening to your voiceover and maybe you, someone was like, oh, there's a pop or something, you yes. want to just... Remove it, but you can't just silence it. You want to. Yeah, you don't have silence. You right. have to have that, that room tone. That's right. So in Soundtrack Pro, you can make a selection of room tones somewhere else on the clip. Yes. And then paste it over that section. It was called Replace the Ambience. It was great. Yep. So he wrote me, said, you know, you can, I figured out a great, great way to do this in Final Cut. Wow. So I thought, all right. Who, I, I who, what, of, what customer his, is that? His name's Andy Nicholas. Oh, okay. So, Andy, thank you. This is a good one. So this is your tip. And so I'm going to show you how it works. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So. Here is a voiceover that I've added, and this is a typical voiceover from one of our tutorials. I think it's one of the under fives, and I'm gonna zoom in here. And, and I place markers on areas, and you can see in the waveform here where there's like, I'm gonna zoom in here, little clicks or pops yeah, yeah. or uh, down here, there's heavy breathing. <laughs> or, <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> and I, you know, you just, you just wanna, you, don't, you wanna remove that. You don't right. want that there. But maybe you do want the space, because I would usually just shorten yes. it all, but yeah. some, you, need, you need a little breathing room without the actual breathing. That's right, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, here's the clip. I need to find a piece of ambience here where I, there's just a pause. Some room tone. Some room tone. Now, this is the one time where I like to change the... You're gonna go to film strip view yeah, and actually yeah, yeah. use a longer film strip yeah. than a single thumbnail? It, it, you know what? That's exactly <laughs> what I was gonna do. Stop. Just, just please stop. <laughs> the reason I like this is that in the film strip view, yes. I can really see... That range. You yep. can see the range. It's so the this, only way to see it on a long clip. I normally don't use the film strip yes. view. But what's nice about this is that now I can see clearly, you know, I can go in here, I can see that. Yeah. That's a nice little section of... Uh, Ambience. Ambience. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I'm going to bring up the uh, keyword HUD. And look, I already have a shortcut I created called Room, room tone. tone. Okay. So I'm just going to. So oh, got a keyword. Just, so I've added uh -huh. a keyword. And if I go over here, it's so the room tone. That is just the room, room tone. tone. Beautiful. Okay. So now you might want to check how long it is. Hit Control D. And so there's at least six, a little over six seconds of okay, room tone. Okay. Good. Okay. Now, so I'm going to go through here. And all right. So I'm going to say, all right, I'm going to. A set of range and there to there's tapping I know I know mm -hmm. right and of course that's the only piece up there and now here's the keyboard okay. D for overwrite D. Oh, you're actually gonna do an overwrite right wow right and over here uh -huh. let's say maybe there's some stuff here I'm gonna get rid of that breath D, D. for overwrite here's a little zoom in here just gonna drag that in there D for overwrite now if you play through these it's, I, I've listened to this headphones. It literally is seamless. It's just wait to share it with you. I'll get to the fix in a moment. Yeah, sure. It's, it's, it's just a very quiet background tone that you would hear with room with, with headphones. It's replaced with ambience. Yeah. Beautiful. You did Doing, replace the ambience with a D key. With a D key. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I thought it was a nice little tip. Thanks, Andy. <laughs> <That's> great. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thanks. Anybody else? If you like certain things, you want to know about them, you know, we look through your notes and we pull stuff out in order to use if they look good tips. That's a great one. Cool. Thanks, Steve. So RippleTraining.com, you know, we do full Final Cut Pro 10 training, motion training, resolve training. Check it all out there. Thank you for watching MacBreak Studio.